How's it going, everybody? We do not have the cringe opening animation done yet for this first Crucible of the season. We'll hopefully have that by next week, but we do have these slide animations. Look forward to that. But this is the first Crucible match of Season 7. We're up against Locke. We faced off against Locke before. Locke is coming at us from... I'll do it myself. No cap. Uh, he's sitting at a cool 72 million, 450,000 TCP. He's got a uh, pretty good defense. Definitely... Uh, very familiar faces from what I have on my own defense. Uh, I'll show you my own defense as well. We got uh, our own Extreme Rogue in one with different ISOs. We got Pegasus in two. I meant to put Bifrost there, but I've heard Bifrost not holding up very good. So we're going to have some fun with that. Um, we got Infinity Watch, Quicksilver in three. I think I'm going to put that over in five later. In four, I have Darkhold or Mamu, which I, I did not fix the defense on this account or the other account, apparently. I want my uh, out-of-time team to be in four. I want my Dormammu somewhere completely different. Uh, my my number five team, I'm going to want that in six. Uh, basically, with what my opponent's doing. We'll see how that holds up. Uh, but yeah, we got, we got some, some stuff on offense. I have obviously lots of offense. I got Skrull, Superior Six, so much going on. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's tackle this enemy. And let's start with the room that everyone's curious about, this Bifrost room. We're going to hit it with uh, something that I thought for sure would lose. <laughs> Show me a moves. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be hitting the Bifrost team with Hive Mine. Now, I've been told this is doing crazy punch-ups and it's because the hive mind does go first and they can steal the energy from sylvie so she doesn't do a rewind uh, i didn't get to try this on the play test my concern with this matchup was uh with void knight being a cosmic hero he does immediately immediately give them um safeguard which is what they have now but i'm told you don't do the ultimate instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the special here to steal energy away and sylvie's gonna do that all right and then we want to do as much damage as possible. So he's got the defense down. Let's go ahead and smack him with the ultimate. Did very, very little damage here. I'm, I'm very concerned with the damage that this is going to do, but that's fine. Okay. Um, I'll save the ability block. Let's go ahead and spread that. Yeah, I'm very concerned with the amount of damage we're going to actually get done here. Also, because somebody got pushed, uh, Goblin's going in this order, which I don't really like. I think I'm going to save his ultimate. Let's save his ultimate. We're going to get this teen, uh, sorry, the Sylvie pushed by when the Gwenum goes here. Some, those are some brutal counters. This will stun, right? So we got the Sylvie push. That's some speed bar for us. I'm not liking this at all. This feels real bad. This feels really bad. Holy shit, does this ever feel bad? Maybe I needed to Red Goblin Ultimate no matter what. This is going horribly. I, uh, guys, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I told you. I told you that the safeguard's too much. Oh, why did I listen to people? No, and I let it end. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why did I listen to chat? Never, ever ever listen to chat ever holy bananas oh that's so bad all right uh well we're gonna clean it up with death seed i guess um yeah never listen to chat that is not the move in this game oof oof big oofer doofer oof red guardian alt um yeah i don't know i guess I suppose so. Let's just make sure uh, that if she does survive, she doesn't do her stuff. There, that's done. That's good. Um, I'd be totally afraid that this Vol is about to alt. So let's try and get her dead here. Oof! I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna hemorrhage losses to Bifrost here. Should have probably just done uh, Scroll on this one at this point, I guess. Yeah, I might have. I might have turbo messed up. Oh, God, Chad, I'm never listening to you guys again. This is the first cruise, but y'all lead me down a horrible, horrible path here. 
Let's just make sure. Uh, I think Val's about to ult. Okay, she didn't ult. That's good. Let's do this just to pull them in to make sure we eat more counters than we need to. God damn, the teen Loki, huh? Oh no. Oh, we're dead. Val's definitely going to ult on this next turn, and we, we're not getting kills. We're not pushing the speed bar down. That guy's straight up dead. Oh my god. Okay, well, let's bring him back. Okay. We're doing some turn meter rewinds. That's good. Oh, no. Val is 100% about to ult here. And there's nothing I could do about it. Oh, she didn't ult. God, she one-shot Nemesis. She's got exhausted, too. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. She's got the ability block. That's good. Even though Beta Ray Bill's like all, you know, I'm doing my thing now. Oh, no. I, I stand by my previous statement about don't hide mine this. I don't care about the Red, Red Guardian. You know what? Here's the thing. A lot of people in chat, I, I love you guys. I really, really do love you guys. But you don't remember that we play at different levels. And when people have bigger Bifrost and you have yourself a nice free-to-play uh, Death Seed or free-to-play uh, Hive Mind team, it's going to play out differently. Oh, God. Oh, God. I mean, I, I the Death Seed probably do work. Like, let's be real about this one. I played this one turbo wrong because I pushed the Vol and let the, the Beta Ray Bill get his Taunt up. That's definitely not what you're supposed to do. Let's do the rewind here. Can we get him dead? No, not yet. Let's do this here. It was a 2 million buy frost. Yeah, but this is a free to play. Like, yeah, I don't know. People did 900k punch up. I'll have to try the ultimate next time with um, with Red Goblin, but I don't know. I don't know, guys. Uh, if you don't push. Oh, Jesus. The retaliates one shot you. I don't know about that. Sam! All right, let's go over to stage six since we're already throwing. Let's try this Dormammu Morgan um, Secret Defenders team. We're just going to use straight superior six on it. See how this goes. Uh, oof, the early vulnerable, huh? Let's get that over on Robbie. Obviously, we do the rewind. Strong defense down. Let's get the Morgan's first kill, I guess. I'm hoping Spider Slayer is going to be able to go before her. I don't think so, though. I, I'm going to summon. Spider Slayer goes first. No, he doesn't, even after the rewinds. That's brutal. That's brutal. Morgan is brutal here. You know, Goblin's a little bit more brutal, though. Yeah, Lizard is just too big a protection for us. Oh, God. There it goes. Is it a permakill? No. Anything he does permakills? Not really. Let's just do it anyway. Get some kills. All right. Black Cat gone. Take the Robbie out. First life gone. Oh, get her out of the stealth. God, those bleeds. Robbie doing work. Ooh. Permakill? No, let's just get rid of Robbie. The only Craven is a permakill in the alt, eh? Hopefully he'll uh, kill the hard light here. She got defense down. Okay. Um. Maybe we played it wrong. I don't know. Maybe maybe we played it wrong. 
We probably did. My ultimate is ready. Let's end this thing right here! Right now! Tis but a scratch! All right, we're gonna use New Warriors Apocalypse up against uh, this stage four. Um, villains lose 25% of their max life, right? So we're probably not gonna open up the Apocalypse Ultimate unless it's like very clear that it's gonna kill the Black Knight. Otherwise, I think Black Knight could potentially one-shot him. We'll see how this goes though. We did get the good uh, strip. So we could probably kill all three right here before even a reflexive taunt happens. So that's uh that's good. Let's just let's do the spread just so we hit the uh the Peggy here. Alts up. Alright, I think we are gonna apocalypse punch. Yeah, we definitely are. Boom! Peggy's gonna bleed out. Um Yeah, this went great. I don't know if this will one shot. Black Knight's a big boy. I don't know why he didn't retaliate the apocalypse there. That was interesting. Very interesting. Okay, well, that was clean. Clean! The new warriors find a new life for that stage five. Until Skrull gets in there, I guess. Whatever happens to nope. predictability. The milkman capable. Evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Alright, uh, we're switching things up. I'm because I'm just gonna use Skrull on this. I'm gonna hit it with Skrull to uh Two Bifrost, well, three Bifrost members. You know, two heroes, two villains. Let's see how this goes. Let's just move some things around, I guess. Give it some consistency. Mm. So they can't be ability blocks. We do got to make sure we get, like, rewinds on them instead. Especially the Forge here, right? Uh, let's get the Disrupt on Rogue to start things off. Right, that's good let's go ahead and rewind here I'm actually afraid well there's no Cyclops so I guess Forge isn't gonna get the speed up anyway so that's good let's get the uh, dodge off of Forge there Sunspot's dead perfectly fine with that that's ability to block Rogue because she's not a Raider nah, I didn't land that's fine Actually, it's not fine, because I really didn't want that to happen, right? I could flip it, and then Beta Ray Bill can stun. Do we want to do that? Uh, Vulture's going to do a rewind anyway. Yeah, Vulture's going to do a rewind anyway. Unless we knock too many people and he gets speed bar because his forge pass is 15%. Ah, but he died. Get wrecked. Get him, Vulture. God, Gambit is such a stone wall. My God. All right. Hey, Skrull's a pretty good character. All right, we're gonna hit the uh, Infinity Watch team with our MOE Cabal hybrid thingy-madoodle. I don't have leader on this account yet, so it's not the best. Uh, but once we get offense up, pretty sure we're gonna melt these characters. I probably should have brought Namor instead of Absorb Man. Absorb Man's gonna do a whole bunch of nothing here, but that's okay. Let's uh, let's punch her in the face. This is gonna get us a bunch of assists. Feels like such a waste doing it here. When Iron Patriot can get the perma kill on her. Scorpion kill the Moon Dragon. Holy shit, Kang hits hard. Holy shit. Let's just do the rewind here. Now we got offense up. Let's see what happens here. Oh my god. Oh my god, Kang. Relax, Kang. They have families. Kang's definitely going before the Phyla, right? We're just trying to avoid pushing the Gamora because we don't want her to get a taunt up. Yeah, 
Yeah, I really wish I brought, um, I really wish I had brought in Namor. Let's see, can Kang one-shot her? Probably, she's like half-life. Yeah, yeah, he killed her. Not even close, not even close. We'll use our leftovers to clean this up. Nothing matters. Everything gets destroyed. We'll stun the, uh... We'll stun the Quicksilver and call it a day, basically. Wow, I didn't expect her to ult that quickly. That's interesting. Stun didn't land. That's, uh... Weaver not landing her stun. That's pretty much... I want to say I'm surprised that he like he didn't land, but I'm really not. I'm really, really not. Hopefully, Cersei is going to go first here. It looks like maybe that's the case. God, that not landing, that stun is crazy, though. Oh, my God. Th this should have been such an easy matchup that just got absolutely wrecked from that one thing happening. Wow. Wowzers. Wowzers, Bowsers. Let's rewind everybody but the Quicksilver. Looks like Quicksilver's passive at least got procs. So there's that. Flip all his shit. There's a double tap. Double tap for that ass. Let's go for as much damage on the Quicksilver as we can. He's gone. Nova Force to add BM. This took way more turns than it should have. This should have been quick stun on quick, a quick stun on Quicksilver and the Eternals explode everything, but I guess not. Oh, well, let's see how we did. All right, first cruise. I think it's a loss because of that raid room one. Uh, he hasn't done his attacks yet. Now he knows uh, that he just can't lose. So there's that. Yep, we'll have to see how it goes. This one was crazy. I do think that there was a misplay here. Um, and I'm a, little, I'm a little mad that I didn't reset it. Everyone's saying they did huge punch-ups. Um, it's because I didn't get pushed on characters that the Vol just chew everybody up. So we didn't get the Team Loki push until the second attack. And because we had people go low, Red Goblin jumped the Q. Actually, how did Venom jump the Q before Gwenom? Gwenom got, like, rewinded by something. Yeah, we just didn't push enough people. And here comes the Retaliates. It's just death. Just absolute death. Yeah. Absolute death and destruction happened here. The follow-up was really dirty, too. I think my opponent has so much breathing room. We don't really have much on defense. And I don't even have the defense I want to have. Yeah, considering the opponent had exhausted on the follow-up. Oof, it was bad. It was real bad. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun. And I'll see you in the next one.